Hello everyone, welcome to data visualization with Python laboratory. So in this video, we are going to learn about uh, the program 8B, which says different types of plots using uh, uh, the Bokeh library. Let us see the syllabus. So here uh, the program 8B says that write a Python program for plotting different types of plots using uh, the Bokeh library. So in the last video, we have seen uh, how to plot a line graph using the Bokeh library with annotation and uh, how to add legends that we have seen. The same thing, we will use it and we will plot the different graphs. So, so here I will show you uh, how to plot the line graph, then how to plot the scatter graph, then how to plot the bar graph. Let us start. So here already I have typed the program. I will just run this program and I will show you the output. Yeah. You can see here I am plotting three different uh, plots. You can plot uh, uh, the other uh, uh, the graphs also by using this bokeh library. So here I have plot uh, line graph in the first grid, in the second grid, in the second uh, cell I have plot uh, scatter plot. In the second row, row two, first column, I have plot a bar graph here. Yeah. So here you can see when you use the bokeh library, you will get these uh, buttons. You can save, you can refresh, you can zoom out. For example, uh, you can select this. I I want to zoom this. You can drag and uh, zoom and check this. Yeah. So let us uh, see the code. I'll just explain the code which I have typed already in the Jupyter notebook. So here is the code of uh, 8B program. <clears throat> so these are the required uh, libraries which already I have explained uh, in uh, program 8A. <clears throat> so uh, this is the library we need uh, to create the output file. Output file. So here is the output file that we are uh, getting the uh, HTML file. And apart from that, we want, uh, you know, from the layout, we want the uh, library card uh, grid plot to plot uh, uh, the different graphs in the layout format like uh, in the row and column format we need uh, uh, this library that is a grid plot uh, from bokeh.layout then to plot our uh, uh, bar graph we need a column data source to store our uh, data this is the data structure we need to store our data for our uh, bar chart then so here I am giving one name for my output file that is bokeh plots.html. <coughs> you can give any name here and it will create the HTML uh, file for you. This HTML file uh, you know you can uh, embed in your uh, web application. So for that I am using the function called uh, output file and I am giving the name uh, uh, the HTML file name. Then uh, to plot data to plot graphs I need data right this is the x value and this is the y value this I will use uh, for my uh, line and scatter graph scatter the plot and uh, uh, this value I will use for my uh, bar graph next uh, so here I am creating a line plot for that in the last video I explained first we have to create the figure so I am using a function called figure I am giving the title for this and I'm giving the uh, x-axis uh, label, whatever you want you can give, y-axis label I'm giving and I'm specifying what is the width I want for my plot, width is uh, uh, 400, height is uh, 400, it's, it is uh, uh, up to you how much width you want and how much uh, height you want you can uh, give. So the same thing you copy this and paste it for the scatter plot here and change the variable name scatter plot and here I have given the line plot so here I am giving the title x value whatever you want y value and height and width it's up to you whatever you want you can give again the same thing you copy and paste for the bar plot then if you want to plot the line graph <coughs> you can uh, call the function uh, line <coughs> So with the variable uh, line plot, line plot dot uh, line, what do you want to plot here? X value, Y value, you can add the legend also and you can specify the line width and you can specify the color, 
and you can uh, uh, change you can if you want you can display the markers all those things you can uh, do it line style also you can uh, change it this is for line graph and for the scatter plot we want x value we want a y value and the legend you give color you give all those things and the size of those points we scattered the points size also you can uh, mention and for the scatter plot you have to call the function called circle not the scatter it is a circle okay and for the bar graph it is v bar vertical bar for the vertical bar we want the x coordinate that is uh, the result x value is equal to result here result is x value <coughs> and the top is nothing but the height height is a we want a count here we want count and from where these values we are getting we have created one data structure here one dictionary we have created here and i have stored that in a uh, bar source from this bar source from this bar source okay i am getting the value of this result and a count what is there in uh, uh, this bar source that i have created one data structure with the the function uh, column data source in this uh, i have created one dictionary the result value and the count value okay from that i am uh, uh, taking the value for my plot i am plotting arranging the plots in a grid in a grid i am calling the grid plot and i am using here the list of list this is uh, one list so in this this is the uh, first list i mean first row you can say and this is the second row first row first column what i am printing i am printing the i am displaying the line plot and in the second uh, cell in the first row second uh, column i am printing the scatter plot in the second row first column bar plot and uh, i have only three plots so in the fourth cell i am displaying a uh, none so you can display any other uh, plot in the fourth column uh, as well finally the show grid and it will display the uh, all our graphs in the grid format so that's it very simple uh, program thank you